What is good everybody, it's BBK Dragoon coming at you today. We finally got our Chroma Prime and he looks really cool, man. I'm excited about this. Shameless self-promotion when we begin here. I put together a Trinity Prime beginners build video this last week. I know many of you have Trinity Prime from the Twitch, you know, promotion. When you have Twitch Prime, you can get that offer to get Trinity Prime for free. Do it, take advantage of it. Trinity Prime is an awesome frame and can carry you through the star chart. If you've not watched that video, I'm just gonna recommend you check it out because it does explain a lot of what we're gonna be talking about here today further, which are must have mods. We're gonna talk about must have frame mods and must have uh, rifle mods. We're gonna talk about shotgun mods in the next video or the one right after as we build the heck. So this is a whole sequential thing. I've not really been enforcing with you guys too much mastery rank grinding. So let's actually talk. I've been playing a lot of Warframe the last week, dude. I've, I'm super excited to be back in the swing of things with this game. Let's talk about Jupiter because this is where we left the series off, okay? You should just have been arriving at Jupiter if you're pushing ahead with the guide series. I know I'm slow. I'm just trying to make the videos as good as I possibly can. Jupiter is where things are going to get a little bit more challenging and then of course into Saturn. If you have not been modding correctly, and I've seen this comment quite a few times in the, in the comment section from you guys, yo, I'm starting to get killed really quickly and what am I supposed to do? My frames rank 30. It is a core concept that you have to understand. Getting to rank 30 is just your baseline expected thing in Warframe. That's not something that you're like, all right, my frame's ready to go now. That is what you do before you put the cake in the oven for it to bake. Mods. Modding is the way that you gain power, strength, and all sorts of utility moving forward in the game. In order to do that, we need to be crafting better gear, better items, and, and things that are going to help push us along. I hope you have the Bull Tour at this point. If you don't have the Bull Tour, build it. It's an MR2 required rifle and extremely good with the correct mods. At this point, I want us to be working towards Mastery Rank 3 and ultimately Mastery Rank 4. And one of the best places that you can do that is on IO. Now, let's uh, talk about mastery rank grinding at this point in the game from the beginner's perspective. Endless missions tend to be the best. Never do these solo. Always do them with other people so you're accumulating more affinity. Forgive me if I say XP. It's just natural for me to default into that. There are way, way, way better nodes deeper in the star chart that are going to let you level gear up faster than io on jupiter however i think this is probably one of the key points in the star chart if you have not reached saturn if you've not reached further points like uranus or neptune in order to start grinding out mr right this is where you're going to be equipping new weapons and new gear and running through defense missions going to wave 10 wave 15 with a group of people rinse repeating and you're going to be leveling up gear fairly quickly i do want to recommend when you're going through and doing this that you purchase an affinity booster. I usually just do like a three-day affinity booster over the weekend if I know I'm going to be doing mastery rank grinding stuff. Now, for those of you who don't want to spend any money whatsoever, Baro Katir, the Void Trader, uh, sells affinity boosters for ducats, 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 I don't know how it's said, um, and some credits. Now, if you don't know what that is, I really wish I recorded this yesterday. He was just here. He's, if you play Destiny, he's kind of like Xur, but he only shows up every couple of weeks. So he shows up every two weeks, he's at one of the relays, and you can go and sell prime parts. If you've been doing, you know, your cabbages, if you've been accumulating prime parts, you can sell your prime parts back through the Void Trading Desk. That will give you ducats, and then you can use those ducats to buy his, you know, stuff that he brings. He generally brings with him some pretty sick stuff. View him as Xur, but like a valuable version of Xur. This is where you're going to get primed mods. This is where you're going to get some really, really cool gear. Um, but if you don't want to spend any platinum and you're trying to play the game completely free, I understand, you can buy, I believe, affinity boosters from him. I know you can buy resource boosters from him as well. So purchase an affinity booster, get grinding on IO, and push your mastery rank a little bit higher. And remember, if you're wondering about leveling up more gear, always come over to the market. You can come down to, let's say, weapons and click blueprints only in the lower right-hand corner. And these are the blueprints that you can buy, begin crafting, level those guns up. Once you've leveled them up to 30, unless you really want to keep them, sell them in your inventory so you free up more inventory slots so you can keep doing it. You can keep purchasing more inventory slots for weapons, but I don't think it's really that necessary, especially... The later you get in the game, the faster it is to rank stuff up. I mean, honestly, I can rank up a primary weapon with an affinity booster on Hydron, on Sedna, I think in like 10 to 15 waves, which ultimately is like 
you're, you're looking at like 10 minutes to max out stuff, depending on the group that you're with. All right, when you hit mastery rank three, it is time to join a syndicate. Syndicates are kind of like factions. Again, if you've played uh, Destiny, think of these like New Monarchy or Future War Cold, Dead Orbit, that kind of a thing. Each of the syndicates has different rewards and different benefits for selecting their tree. I opted for the Steel Meridian. A lot of beginner guides tell you to go with the Steel Meridian, primarily because, um, well, back when I was watching Tefty's Beginner's Guide, the, the OG iFlynn's Beginner's Guide, like the best Beginner's Guide series in all of Warframe. Seriously, you guys should watch and support him. I know he's working on his next series, and it's going to be hopefully, uh, I'm expecting it to just be epic for Fortuna. Everybody pushes you towards Steel Meridian because of this mod, Scattered Justice. Most Beginner's Guides tell people to build the Boltor and build the Heck. The Heck is a really easy to get. Mastery rank four shotgun we're gonna be talking about in just a second. And this mod, Scattered Justice, is one of those must-have mods for the heck build. Now, when you join a faction, few things you need to do. You're just gonna start accumulating as you play through missions, points towards your syndicate. Excuse me for calling it a faction just a second ago. And once you've reached this point right here, like once you've maxed the bar out, it will ask you to get to the next title. And it will tell you what you need to do in order to get to that next title. So for this one, I'm now at whatever, the protector level, pushing up towards the general level. I'm going to have to give her a Zephyr Prime chassis and 500,000 credits. The lower levels require smaller things, most of which are Forma. So if you keep doing your Void Relic missions, make sure you're getting Forma. Forma is something you need a lot of. You will also notice that some of these syndicates have enemies with different um, syndicates. So as you rank up Steel Meridian, you're going to see other um, syndicate like rep go down. And sometimes these guys are going to send uh, assassins to come kill you in missions once this gets low enough. It's not really a big deal, but uh, you do want to equip, by the way, once you have selected your syndicate. Uh, let's go to appearance. Under the regalia. You want to put a sigil on. So when you first join, I think you get a sigil for free or it's one of the offerings, but these will increase uh, the rep that you earn with them. And the higher up you get, there's different sigils that will give you more. I think it's plus 11. Yeah. So uh, you just put that on your Warframe so you can uh, accumulate for that particular syndicate. All right. And then let's talk about Mastery Rank 4. Once you hit Mastery Rank 4, I do really want you guys to build the Heck Shotgun. The Heck is super duper good pretty uh, inexpensive for you to put together all resources you have access to. And then once you mod this thing correctly, you can one-shot enemies super, super deep in the star chart. And it's it's a great shotgun. It's something that can carry you through a lot of content in the game. We're going to talk about it more in the next video. All right. Let's talk about must-have mods. Throughout Warframe, you're going to find that there are specific builds that work best for certain frames or certain weapons. These are specially curated builds that have a very specific focus on augmenting one particular ability. If you look at the Trinity Prime build video that I did, it was all about the Bless ability. That's what we put all the effort and all the mods geared towards. However, throughout all of your experiences in Warframe, you're going to keep coming across a handful of mods that are utilized in the majority of builds. So I'm going to rattle off a pretty big list here of mods that you should be working towards and trying to accumulate. Now, some of these I've excluded uh, corrupted mods because we're going to talk about those in a future video in like the next one or two videos. Corrupted mods need their own video to talk about how to get those things. These are all just rare mods that you can go after. Some of these are things that you're not going to be getting right now unless you're doing void runs, um, like void container farming stuff. But let's just let's just get into it. First of all, must have mods for your Warframe. Corrosive projection or Steel Charge, or Energy Siphon. You really want one of these three Aura mods. And then, either Power Drift, or Cunning Drift. Remember, some of these you're not going to be getting or farming right now, and each of these, for their drop chances, you may want to go to the wiki to find out where you can get them. Then, the main ones, Streamline, Continuity, Stretch, Flow, Constitution, Intensify, and Vitality. Redirection is also nice to have in that list. Those mods are going to show up on pretty much a ton of builds, and those are mods you want to max the upgrades out on. A couple of things I wanted to mention, though. Continuity, you may want to keep an eye out for Baro Katir. If you see him selling primed continuity, 
buy it. If you see him selling primed reach, buy it. These things are ridiculously useful and can save you a lot of void container farming stuff, especially with continuity. Then let's talk about must-have rifle mods. Serration, Split Chamber, Heavy Caliber, Infected Clip, Stormbringer, Hellfire, Point Strike, Speed Trigger, Cryo Rounds, and Vital Sense. The reason I focused on rifle mods first is because you probably have a Boltor if you've been following the guide. We're going to talk about shotgun mods next time. I'm going to assume, if you are following the guide, you're hitting MR3, you're pushing through Jupiter, and you hit MR4. When you hit MR4, build yourself the heck, and then keep this list of must-have mods. Just save it in a text file on your computer. Keep an eye out for these drops. I wouldn't say you need to go specifically farming for these things right now, but if you do have some of them, upgrade them, implement them in your Warframe, and implement them into your Boltor builds. When we probably get a little bit deeper in the star chart, let's say three or four more planets deeper, and we've started corrupted mod farming, then is the time you're going to go headhunter bounty seeking out these mods. These things are going to become more and more important as the star chart gets harder for you to actually have and use them in your builds. I do want to mention too, when you're farming Io on Jupiter and you're doing your mastery rank grinding, keep an eye out for the Meso T3 Relic because that is a chance to have the Chroma Prime chassis in it. That node is getting a lot of use right now because people are still farming for Chroma Prime. I love that in Warframe you can kill two birds with one stone. So do keep an eye out for those Meso T3 Relics that's going to have your Chroma Prime chassis within it and that IO node as long as you're continuing through it. I think the first two rounds have a high chance to drop Meso Relics. So you can just rinse, repeat that thing after the first two rounds if you didn't get a drop. All right, I just want to say thank you again for watching this video. I'm going to continue working on more build guides like the Trinity one, specific videos, maybe just for the hack and just for the bull tour, just for specific frames as we keep pushing forward. As always, I really, really do appreciate you guys watching the Warframe content on the channel. If you enjoyed this, please thumbs up, subscribe for more. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll talk with you next time.